I can't stockpile any items. I did give myself the Violet Blade level 0 and a Fire Blast just because both those items are no longer uh, eligible to get after a, sec after a first playthrough. So with that to be said, let's get this run started. Uh, I guess we can start the timer now. Oops. Thank you, everyone, for the good luck. Cough. Cough, cough. Nina, are you okay? It's a little hard to breathe. Doctor, I... As I said, Nina, we gave you a special operation. It may take a little while to get used to it. But if all goes well, Nina, not only you, but a lot of people who live in areas with bad air will be saved. Understand, Nina? What, today? Genetic hunting again? Nah, we're on lift guard duty. Concerning war between friends. Guarding the lift. Works even Lodi can do. Right, Ryu? Destiny decided to challenge us. See you there, sir. And so we just we choose to end the world. In order to meet our mortality. There was nothing to regret. Nothing. No regrets, right? If there ends up being frame drops, let me know, and I'll lower the uh, bitrate of the stream. So here we have Ryu. Uh, he's a staple in the Breath of Fire universe. He's our main character. This game is interesting where he is the first one that actually speaks, instead of being like your silent protagonist. Hey, you ready? Let's go. Waiting makes the captain grumpy. Bosch 164, 
and Ryu 18192. Reporting, ma'am. At ease. So I've called you in to review the details of your mission. Guard duty, level E. You are to board the freight lift and guard its contents. An easy task for you to know. Questions? What a, what's our mission? Board the high-speed lift sent from Biocorp Labs and guard its contents. Where's it going? Ask at the lift port. If you can take the transportation lift down to the low sector labs. What's the cargo? I'm sure you're aware. Biocorp handles top secret materials. You don't need to know what you're protecting to do your job. How about enemies? We've reported lots of recent surge in Trinity activity. They may target cargo from the Biocorp, so be on your guard. No ma'am, we're good. Understood, Captain, but might I speak with you for briefly just before the mission? Of course. Ryu, please wait outside. Captain, I'm sure you know my D ratio is already 1 over 64. That's more than high enough to make lieutenant or marshal, even regent. All I need is some kind of accomplishment, something to prove I'm worth high rank. I need something bigger than just guard, ca uh, guard duty, Captain. The mission is highly classified. Report to me when you've finished. Creeper Bosch, activate. Fine. As long as you understand my position. Sorry about that. Let's get this over with, sir. So a little bit of backstory. Um, there was a war that happened a thousand years ago. And there was dragons they called the 1-1. Um, they were ancient biological based weapons. And they were used in a war which ended up basically creating a nuclear fallout. Uh, they were supposed to create an opening scene dictating it, but due to development time they, they cut it. So they decided to start living underground was their only means to survive. So right now we are a thousand meters underground. And there are several layers of areas above us, and each one of those areas gets recycled air. So at the top we have the cleanest air, and since we're we're not close to the bottom, but we're about in that middle area. So it's kinda of like getting recycled air four times over. Uh, so that was the opening cutscene with ne uh, the doctor saying that Nina will help people in bad air areas. Need something that'll save your life? Take a look. Today's special is heal kits. Be sure to come in handy. So I'm going to sell all my inventory. Five heal kits, one tonic and one save token. Buy 10 meats and 5 bombs. Uh, the 5... This will get me through the first part of the game. This game has something called the pet system. The positive encounters and tactics system. Uh, basically grades you... On how well you do in battles. Uh, one of the main things for the game is... It allows you to deal damage to the enemy before a battle starts. Which I'll go over in just a second. What's wrong? The lift's down. Typical. They expect me, Bosch, 1 over 64, to walk the tracks all the way to the labs? Grr, let's go. Oh, poor baby. Ooh, Bosch joins. Uh, so the D-Ratio is kind of a caste system. 
uh, the ratio is given to you at birth, and it will it basically dictates your chance of uh, becoming a deconstruct or merging with a dragon. Oops, I forgot there was no no tutorials anymore. So here we do something called bait and switch. We put down a meat. And then we pick up the meat. It's just a way to make the meat go longer or go further. So here one bomb is enough just to take out the enemies. Uh, we this fight is particular because we get a shield ability called steel. So steel reduces our maximum AP by 10 and gives us a steel chance. So I'm going to throw a meat there to keep these guys occupied. Nice. Alright, I am now set for money in the early game, which is really nice. Uh, so this game has two different enemy layouts. As well as two different crate patterns. Atmospheric cleansing. The fool. What's he trying to prove? Who knows? One thing, though. He has gone neither mad nor lost hope yet. But he goes too far with these experiments. It's unlike him. And why has he come so far to tell me? Would you have me take action? You must understand. We can only do what we can do. So running this game uh, makes it very interesting with the not knowing really what and what uh, item layout or crate layout you'll get. Each crate has the possibility to have anywhere between one to sixteen different items in it, um, and it doesn't play so much into like an any percent situation. But for the low dive categories, um, especially for marathon safety, uh, getting certain crates can make the run infinitely easier or harder. Um, if anyone in ch chat is finding the stream too dark, I can boost up the contrast. This game in the beginning is quite dark, and then it'll go back to being uh, rather normal. Nice. Extra money! So, um... As I was saying, Bosch was born with a really high D ratio. His father is actually a regent. Um, we'll probably be seeing in this run. So one interesting fact of when an enemy eats meat, their hitbox actually shrinks uh, by about one, te one twelfth their size. So you, it makes it really easy to walk right by that guy. So here we really see the power of meat, or meat and bombs, I should say. Uh, being able just to instantly defeat enemies before they can get a turn is quite the saving grace. Ah, oh, you little bastard. So these are danger rooms. Uh, basically you have to defeat every enemy inside of it. Before uh, you're allowed to progress. Uh, the game will get quite a bit brighter in just a little bit.
So here we're just, of course, going across the progression. Uh, the bombs will do 140 base damage. Uh, they will increase or decrease damage depending on the enemy's fire resistance and shot resistance. But for the most part, early game, they'll always be doing 140. The long wait is over. At last. You have awakened. Let us go, my little friend. Once again, to the sky. Ryu! Ryu! What? The Bosch? Hey, you okay? You killed over all of a sudden. I, I fell over? Come on, get it together. Let's go. This is on the PS2. So I bumped up the contrast a little bit. Hopefully that won't make it as dark. Whoa. That's... What's that? We don't have any records of any genetics this big. Maybe it's some kind of experiment. What, are you scared, sir? It's dead already. It won't bite. Let's finish up this mission. Either that or faith the wrath of Captain Zeno. Ha ha. Oh, Jin? So there's a hidden cutscene that's in the game, but it's not flagged to set. Um, so it, it basically says it's a conversation between Ojin and Ryu. And it basically says, um, welcome my little friend. When you get to the gates, you will have a decision to make. Uh, let my strength be your fire. And my being be your strength. Um, and after you've died, you will be reincarnated. So it basically sets up the foreshadowing of what you have to do to merge with a dragon. So I'm going to take this fight just for, uh, just to make sure I get some healing abilities. So you can also combo skills, which is nice. So this is just for healing items for the next boss. Uh, in case I get a little, a little duped. So up here we're really hoping for a item called a power boost. Power boosts increase your strength by 25% for the battle, and I get pooched. Still no big deal. Come on! The lift's about to leave. Hurry, Ryu. Uh, we're getting all the cutscenes because I beat the game twice. 
Uh, your D ratio doesn't tie into the scenario overlay cutscenes, the Saul cutscenes. Um, they unlock the further you progress in the game. And once you do two complete cut through, uh, two complete playthroughs, you have all the cutscenes unlocked. I purposely gave Ryu a one over eight thousand one hundred ninety-two ratio just to keep it with a new game. Uh, so there's nothing carried over from New Game Plus, except the two items that I would miss due to cutscenes and just how the game operates. Ryu. Relax. Whatever it is, it must be special. No one would attack a lift guarded by rangers. Foreshadowing. Ryu, I need your scores. What? I have the potential. All I need is a reputation, and they'll have to promote me. If things go well, I could even be Regent. I have all the qualifications, after all. Regent, are you serious? I am. I am Bosch, 1 over 64. I will be Regent. I must. Ryu, with your 1 over 8,192 D ratio, you'll never make it past Grunt. But once I get to the top, I'll be able to help you out. Come on, Ryu. What do you say? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Metal Gear Solid. A war genetic. Trinity! Did it give up? Damn. Looks like they'll do anything to stop this lift. Can we keep this weapon and just not use it the one time? Please? Yes? I'll choose you. Oh, it burns. It burns. It is the power given to you. The dragon's power. You are the chosen. The 1,000 year world destroyer. Find your fate. Before it finds you. What will you do to change everything? Gads. Right. I wonder how 
far I fell. I made it. Or did I? No need to question it, it's fine. Wasn't expecting any customers down here. Alright, so there I'm buying four bombs. That will get me through the next little small stretch. Um, here we're going to be coming up to our first fight. Uh, that's a footloose, which sadly is not good. So I'm going to put the steel on, sh on the shield, and I'm going to give myself all the, the party experience. Party experience is a bonus we've been getting after battle. Um, I can probably explain it after this fight. I guess I could explain it now. I've got there's not a lot of words here. So the game rates you if you finish the battle on an EX turn, how many enemies are in the battle, and it will give you a basically extra experience. So with the dukes in that first danger room, they were worth 54 or 74 experience per se. Because there's four of them and I beat them on an EX turn, no damage, I get an additional 30 experience that goes into the party experience pool that I can use at any time for any member. And it also carries over for your new game pluses. So you can play through the game, save up all your party experience, and then on like a new game plus playthrough, you can make Ryu wicked powerful in the beginning by just dumping a boatload of party experience into it. Want to be friends? So Cyclops, his first turn will always be Spirit Charge, and then his second turn will be an attack. Uh, in this game, you can have up to two AP bars, which means your first AP bar is red, then your second AP bar is green. So, that's really important here to get the most damage out of the Deathbringers. So you see Deathbringer plus 20% combo. So my Deathbringer is getting a 20% damage boost from uh, doing Slice and then Vert Slash. So I actually got lucky because I outspeed Cyclops. At level 7 or level 8, you have a about a 60% chance to outspeed him. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move my turn down below Cyclops. Because even though if I don't finish him this turn, I can finish him before he gets his turn next round. So Cyclops, when you get dealt more than 220 hit points of damage, he goes into a second phase. He stops using Spirit Charge and starts attacking twice per turn. The soundtrack in this game is really good, in my opinion. <laughs> it's okay, I got him. Can you stand?
I'm Ryu. What's your name? Na. Ni. Na. Ni na. Your voice. You can't. Anyways, we have to get out of here, Nina. Here, let's go. So here we get our second party member, Nina. Uh, of course, just like every other Breath of Fire game, she is our magic user. Your target is a lift leaving from Biocorp's labs in the low sector. A retrieval mission? What is it? A humanoid. Most likely. A child. He gads! I, sh I should shed light on just how dirty our world has become. Dramatic close-up is dramatic. <laughs> so here we get our first shot at the dragon abilities D-dash. This category does allow it, thankfully. Um, D-dash, basically, after a certain point, we will trade our D-counter for faster movement and being able to knock enemies around. Uh, thankfully, right now this will be our our this will be our main form of transportation through the whole game. It's just dashing. Um, there is a the Japanese rule set where you don't use any D dash at all. Uh, it does change a couple of the hallway strats a little bit. Uh, the only one that's really done a low dive run is the any percent uh, runner Romato. Uh, he hasn't been active in some time, but he's he's done a lot of good for the community over the years. I almost skipped that cutscene. Rex would be shaking his head. Trinity. Ranger, you can't help her. Go, and leave me with her. What? We need that girl. She's our only hope we have of saving this rotten world. I don't care what you want. I don't deal with criminals. Admirable for a ranger. Too bad you don't realize that there's more to this world than what you can see with your own eyes. Listen, there are some things you'd be happier not knowing. Forget you met me. And forget that you met the girl with wings. Here, come with me, child. All swoon. Trust me, he can't help you. All right, Ranger. Let's work together. At least we leave end sector. I'm supposed to trust you? Oh, pretty. We want to protect her, right? I'm Lin. Let's go, Ranger. Lin joined you. One page added. Yay!
A Trinity attack? Ryu is missing. I see. What happened to the cargo? Cargo? I barely made it out of there alive! That cargo was top secret. You should have secured it before coming back here. Falling from that height? He couldn't have survived! The brass don't like excuses, Bosh. Find the cargo and get rid of it. Permanently. No matter what it looks like. Understood? Get rid of it. So Lin is a utility type member. Uh, she's good for moving characters around in battle. Or enemies, I should say. Uh, and she does have a lot of language skill combos. Sadly, we don't use a lot of them. So we're going to kill these hermits. I'm going to hope for a jolt drop. Uh, if I don't get jolt... Nice. Alright, that saves me a lot of headaches later on. Why do I always get the bad spider room? That might have been bad. A little too close. So a lot of the setting up the battle is just to make sure that you hit the enemies with like the tip of Ryu's sword. wasn't the best setup, but we got through it. Let's rest a little. I've only been going for a couple of minutes. So Ranger, aren't you curious? Don't you want to know what she is? you tell me even if I asked a criminal? Truth is, I don't even know what I was I wasn't told. Ranger, this world you're trying to protect. I don't think it's worth it. So the one bad thing is when you get those scenario overlay scenes after a danger room is, since the, it redraws the whole map, it gets rid of every drop you get. One of the reasons I set up something... Oh, nice. Two power boosts. Something special, uh, which I'll get to in a bit. So here we're just checking random crates that we know sell... That have equipment that sell for pretty good money. So we have our three party members, and we'll be sticking with these three... Uh, until the end of the game, just because you really don't have a choice to swap out anyone else. I don't know, RPG Limit Break, uh, when David K ran 80%, would, be, would definitely be the, the big goal to meet. Uh, he ran it two years ago? Three years ago now?
Man will gain wings. Hortensia, tell us again. Yes? Man will gain wings, and the sky will return to the world. It was a clear vision. But I do not think it's time. I concur. I don't see man growing wings anytime soon. Fools doomed to their own fates. So there we had a glimpse of the the regents, uh, the people that are basically controlling controlling the world. So here we're just going to uh, praise and sell all the items we picked up. We're going to sell Nina's shield, because it's no longer needed. So we're gonna give Nina Jolt. Because that will that helps out so much in this next fight. If you don't get Jolt, uh, if you're going for like a PB attempt, it's pretty much a reset. Um, this is by far coming up one of my favorite cutscenes in this game. Uh casually because I sucked at this game, I would just keep coming back to this place so I could see this cutscene over and over again. Bosh! Bosh, you made it too! So Trinity's with you, huh? Ryu. No mistake about it. Well done, Ryu. Wait, Bosh? What happened to Nina? Tell me! The orders are to get rid of the cargo. That's all you need to know. Out of my way. No, just tell me what's going on. What cargo? Get rid of it how? Sir? I'm... Stabby stabby. Why? Yeah. I can't afford to be wasting time with something like this. Hmm. She's awfully fond of you. Bosh, stop. Ryu, you. Ryu, stay out of my way. <laughs> Am I going to die here? I'll choose you. Pikachu! What? Special skill throat thrust. <laughs> so as per the, the rules of low dive, Ryu cannot do anything in this battle. 
uh, Bosch and the members are going to... Uh, they're hard-coded to attack Ryu if they're within range. So we took Nina's shield off because it reduces her maximum AP by 10. So by removing her shield because of the ability it has, magic defense uh, plus 10%, my beef blade not work? Impossible! So each time you turn, uh, skip a turn in dragon form, it costs you 2%. Counter, which the counter in this is irrelevant. We're not going to be anywhere close to being worried about it. Uh, while you're using the dragon form, he gets a 50% speed boost, unlimited movement, uh, at no AP charge. Um, and there's just a lot of good perks to using the dragon. There's also a lot of negative comebacks just because the amount of counter it uses. So it doesn't matter how high of a speed stat you got, these guys will always outspeed you. I've come here with 2000 speed, which is the speed limit, and they've still outsped me. Which is kind of funny. So there I just passed a turn to make sure the guard got close to Bosch. So Jolt would hit both of them. If I didn't have Jolt, I would have to set up G flares with Nina and then use Lin to knock the enemy into the G flare. So my take on the D counter, um, and everyone has a different opinion about it, is this is the only game where Ryu isn't born into a dragon clan. He's had the dragon powers thrusted upon him. So to me, the D-counter uh, shows how much the dragon has starting to take over his body to the point where his body just can't take the power anymore and it ends up dying. Oh, feeling lightheaded. Who am I? Uh. What are you? You're... You're no normal ranger. That power. Get rid of the cargo. Tell me, what does Trinity know? Answer me, what are you going to do with Nina? Even if you knew, what could you do? Use that power again, and what would that accomplish? Leave me alone. Ah... Uh. No. I think Ryu and Lin have a really good character arc. It's like I said before, if you want to find out who she is, Biocorp Labs is the place to go. But what about you? You're sure you can't explain? I really don't know where that power came from or why, but... I heard a voice, a voice in my head. It was scary, like somehow I was losing my humanity. We should leave this place soon. We may have lost them for now. But those were rangers. They'll come after us. We have to hurry. We'll need to go through Low Sector to get to Biocorp. Let's go. 
So for uh, rangers are basically the uh, the government protection in a sense. And the Trinity is basically the anti-government uh, faction. So that's why Ryu and Lin really don't get along with each other. So here we're coming up to the kind of first RNG portion. Where we're going to be trying to get a steel uh, nobility called Side Slash. So these guys sell it, or these guys make it eligible to steal. So Ryu and Lin are the only two people that can that have the skill, steal ability equipped. So here what we basically got to do is just keep ending turns and just tank the hits until we steal side slash. Nice. That was quick. That was a lot faster than I thought. Uh, so side slash is gonna is more useful just as a stepping stone with Ryu for the combos the combo ability. Because Ryu hasn't really done much meaningful attacking. Uh, it's gonna change very soon. Nina early game with the magic is by far the best way for damage. So when you get an ability, it's not automatically learned. It's gone into your inventory like an item. And then you have to use that item, and then it's uh, usable by whoever can use it. So shield abilities can be used by all four characters, as long as their shield uh, allows you to thread it. Abilities are very solo or person dependent. There's no real crossover. It's not like Ryu and Nina can both learn the same ability. So here my goal is to just push everyone as closely together as possible. And then huck explosives at him. So what this is doing is lowering the hit points of those big armored dukes. Uh, they have a special armor that unless you hit them with 15 shot or physical attacks or basically any abilities from Nina and Lin or uh, Ryu and Lin, sorry, their armor will break and then you can deal normal damage. They're really tough enemies for this point to use without anything special. So I want to... There we go. Just get everything nicely lined up. I like to get, take care of the big guys first. Nice. Thank you. Oh, nice. I did get flare. Sadly, this little guy didn't get into the mix with the battle, so I'm probably going to be losing 50 or 60 party experience if I can't finish it this turn. Keep on! 
So each step of movement in battle is worth 1 AP and it moves you 10 centimeters forward. Uh, this is only really important for getting people close to your uh, your weapon's length. So each weapon has uh, a certain attack radius or attack uh, struggling for the word right now. Range. There we go. So Ryu can attack enemies up to 15 steps away. Nina can attack enemies up to 40 steps away. Damn it! Bosh, calm down. D ratios measure potential future abilities. You, you losing him, you losing to him is within acceptable error margins. Aberrations? That was no aberration. That was. He's a monster. Anyway, as for you, you're being relieved of further duty. No! I followed my orders, didn't I? Didn't I? I can't let this incident spoil my reputation. Ryu has a reach weapon. Region assembly at this time? It's too soon. This day was foreseen, but not the date. A dragon has come. A dragon? Yes. One of the great weapons of old. Our nemesis, the destroyers of worlds. Biocorp re reports that the one has activated. Is one is which cycle has already ended. Reactivation? But the hosts are chosen are supposed to be extinct. A ranger grunt, a boy named Ryu, may have linked with the dragon. A grunt? No one with such low potential could be a Chosen. I will create a rift in space, to seal it away before it sends the world into turmoil. It's not time yet for, it, uh, for us to act. Let mortals deal with mortals. I have ordered all high-ranking rangers to find the boy. We feud in life and struggle towards death. It is sometimes the history not found in books that is the truest. Here, now, it begins. Yeah, so don't kill Ryu now. Just just keep letting him progress. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So those dukes always drop a heavy suit plus two. And here I'm going to hope for the, uh, boo. I don't think the plus three attack is worth that much. So I bought 20 bombs. 20 meat, 1 multi meds, and a couple of antidotes. These are just to get me through, once again, the next little stint. Uh, this is very much of just jumping shop to shop. Emergency, the door is locked. You need a Biocorp ID to unlock the door. Got it. So we need to check that door to trigger the next area. So here we're just going to thread a couple of skills. Ok, 
Okay. Get Ryu and Nina to level 9. And then we're going to dump it all into Ryu. Okay, Nina and Ryu both have, or Lin and Ryu both have their shields off, which is good, because that gives me an additional 10 AP. Is this gas? It's him. Hey, Grunt, you're Ryu, right? Rangers? So we've become wanted. No, not yet. But we've heard Bosch tell the boss about you and we figured we'd bring you or bringing you in would give our reputation a nice boost. So we got this ready and waited for you to come through here. You greedy scumbags. You used gas for that? What about the town folks? The nerve gas we used against genetics. Perfect for low Ds, too. We've heard you're pretty strong for a low D. Just being cautious, you know. So they basically gassed the whole area. Uh... So this game, or in this fight, you're going to continually be poisoned every turn, or have the chance to be inflicted with poison, I should say. So here I'm just going to move Lin over a little bit to try to uh, get them to stay away from Nina with their attacks. So here I'm just going to wait until I get turn one for the maximum amount of AP which also kind of lines up nicely between the guards. No! That was the worst thing he could have... Uh, not the worst, but it does suck. So one of the, the great strengths I find in the game is being able to just move around enemies on the in the battlefield. So Ryu, when he's put to sleep, loses his turn that round, which kinda sucks. So, the enemies here make the best noises. So this is where abilities like Flare, Jolt, and then Ryu has one special combo he can use. Uh, it's called X-Slash. The game sadly doesn't tell you about these combos. It's kind of one of those things you just have to come across by yourself. So X-Blade uh, X -sla happens when you combo Sight Slash into Vert Slash. Sadly, you can't combo past that. But it, it is three hits. The first hit is 80% your strength. The second and third hit is 110% strength. And the third hit gives you a 15% critical bonus. Or a, I guess I should say for better words, a 15% crit increase. So Lin for a lot of these battles is just used to readjust enemies.
Ah. I was hoping to get that mage so he wouldn't be healing this round. When they drop below 50% hit points, they'll have they have a chance to cure on their next turn. I might be able to kill the two back guys to stop them from healing. This fight could have been over. Ugh. You move quick for a grunt. You and Nina, get to higher ground. Quick! Aerial pollution warning, level 4. Sealing off affected areas. Hee he. He too late. There's no there's no way to stop it now. Rip Ryu, game over. Nina! What the? Nina is now a Dyson. Ryu, Nina! What happened? I... I don't know. But the gas seems to us just disperse somehow. And you and Nina are okay? The gas. Did Nina? I don't know. But I know where the answers are. Biocorp. So here, if... Uh, you pay really attention to, like, Nina's wings in a casual form. You'll notice that they have, uh, instead of it being red uh, particle effects, they're now kind of, like, grayish. And that they'll stay like that for the rest of the the game. Yeah. 
Nina, you okay? Let's rest. I'll check ahead. Nina ran out there, and the next thing, the gas was neutralized. Whatever she did back there, it sure took a toll on her. Nina. Let's go right to the lab after taking a rest. If anyone can help Nina, that's where they'll be. It's kind of nice how the game uses the game graphics for cutscenes. So like if Ryu has a certain weapon equipped, it will always show that, or if Lin has a different weapon, it won't always show, like, the stock weapons. Ugh. A program to clean up the ass atmospheric pollution. Those cruel madmen! You find anything? Yeah. The lab's ahead. The lab headroom is at the top of this complex. Let's go. We might find some answers. So there we've seen uh, prototypes of Ninas, uh, headless Ninas. Um, so they're in the background collections guide, it's a Japanese guide that they go through the story plot in the game. You were supposed to be able to look through the lockers in the beginning of the game, but coincidentally one of the lockers in the ranger's headquarters has Nina's head in it. So they t changed it so you couldn't open the lockers because it would uh, deliver a spoiler. That's bad. So that wasn't supposed to happen. I forgot I had flare on like an idiot. So what happens there is those Rafalisas are one of two enemies in the games that can level up or that can level up. Uh, so if you hit them with magic ten times before they get a turn, uh, their hit points and stats also increase by 20%, but they're worth about 3,600 experience each. Uh, which means, so I'm going to be down a little bit of experience for the early game. I totally forgot about Flair setting off bombs. So normally, instead of getting 400 total experience for that fight, you'd get something like 9,000, once you include the party experience. It's not a big, big deal, just a couple of the fights are going to be a little bit slower. So 
So here we're going to do a minor gill farm, or a zenny farm, before the major zenny farm. supposed to work is you're supposed to hit them three times with magic past the turn nice. uh, so Nina gets her turn again and then you hit them seven more times with magic if you hit them with the fourth time with magic there's a chance that they'll outspeed Nina and once they level up once they can't level up again and then uh, once you hit them with magic 10 times, that's when they've, they've reached their highest point. You can still upgrade their stats, but the experience uh, will stop upgrading after the, after the five times. Can I help you? The experimental genetic. Didn't we ship that out already? Was there a malfunction? Genetic? Shipped? Oh, no, no. These ventilators filthy. You've got to take better care of these things. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? You have to understand. I spent a lot of time making this one I did. I cloned lung cells, grew filter organs, this is the top-of-the-line anti-pollutant model. Best work so far, I might add. Entirely designed to suit your needs. Was there a problem? What? But I must tell you, the lungs are in the terminal stage. We can't replace them either. Punchy punchy. What are you talking about? This is a she. Nina's human. What have you done to her? Answer me. What? What's going to happen to Nina? The prototype wasn't designed for durability. It's only a matter of time before the filters fail. What if I took her someplace where the air is clean? And the air gets worse every day. If it stays any longer in this environment, she's a goner, I'm afraid. You... You people are sick. Let's go, Nina. The sky. That's where the air is clean. I'll save you, 
Nina. So now the motivation in the in the, the game switches to uh, what is Nina to let's save Nina. So no one has seen this guy in a thousand years, but Ryu, because he's the main protagonist, knows we're gonna find this guy. So here we're gonna fight these two guys right here. Because when these guys are defeated, they they summon some friends. That setup is so incredibly tight. But the one good thing about fighting these guys is you get the tier 2 lightning ability called lightning. Or electric ability, I should say, called lightning. So there we're just abusing our iframes to set up three bombs in the center of all the enemies as closely as we can. So we kill the whole group. Um, realistically, you only need to kill one, but for all the extra party experience, you might as well kill all of them if you can. So there I bought, thankfully this is one of the weapon shops that is static, it will always sell the same layout no matter what. Uh, so we bought the Plasma Macer plus one for Ryu, which might be our main source of damage for the next part coming up. Uh, Plasma Macers offer good, they're, they're light weapons so you get a nice speed increase over the Ranger Edge. That's why I like starting the fight with Lin. Uh, if those treasure chests ever get too far out of the way, Nina's ability on the overworld is to uh, basically be a vacuum for all the items. So any item that's out of reach, you can use her her staff or her staff and it will just drag everything close to you. So we did that for the greetings chest. Uh, greetings mixed with another ability called come here will give us a free steal a uh, free steal chance for 20 AP. This will come in handy for a few boss fights. Uh, most notably for a skill called transfer we'll be getting much much later.
So you can see how much how easy battles are when you can just take out a good chunk of the enemy's hit points with just using bombs and then things in battle. Ooh, this is not looking good. So those goos, each one of the small goos had a 25% chance to drop a Sapphire Macer. Sapphire Macer is a ice element, which really helps out for the one of the bosses coming up. Uh, I have one more shot for it. If not, I will have to resort to the weaker Ranger Edge, which isn't the worst thing in the world. It's just going to use up a little bit of time. Nina, are you alright? Are you tired? Let's get some rest. said he said he created Nina Lynn do you see Nina as a thing well no I you tried to tell me once Lynn that it, the world we live in is broken. This world, it won't save Nina. I want to help Nina, Lynn. So you want to leave this world and go look for... the sky? even though you don't know if such a thing really exists. You're crazy, Ryu. But not necessarily wrong. So here we're going to do a major gill farm. So these jack boxes, you can get a, depending on um, enemy layouts, you can get four or six of them in Frozen Road. So these guys start off with 100 zenny, and every time you hit them, it goes up by 10%. So you can't hit them more than 10 times in their first turn, or they'll just give you nothing. The game doesn't explain it, but it is what it is. So jackpot jumps. meaning that the amount of zenny they have doubles. And then we're going to get 10% out of that until it maxes out at 60,000. Might have to redo this. I wasn't paying attention to reuse hit points.
Actually, this single one will do just fine. There is one big jackbox we passed earlier. It does fundamentally the same thing. Uh, except instead of starting with 100, it starts with 200 zenny, and it has much more hit points. Uh, so if you exploit these, it's a really easy way to get 240, 360,000 zenny. Uh, actually quite still early in the game. So some of this money will be going towards paying for all the traps, items that we need for the rest of the run, and then one very important item, or weapon I should say, right near the end of the game. Kind of one of the bad things about going through that door is the enemy can react to you before you get movement. So it's kind of you're stuck there with nothing to do. Alright, so I didn't get a Saf Maser, so one of these fights is going to be very interesting. good these should be all the curative items I need for the rest or not rest but a good chunk so here we're just going to throw the majority of the abilities on with uh, we want to have it so lightning is comboed to get that extra damage out of it. So here we're bringing Lin to level 17. That gives her two additional speed over level 13. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but uh, her, Lin getting a turn very early in this next fight coming up especially is huge. So thankfully I got a... I got two power boosts, so I'll be able to use one on one of the fights to make up for a little bit of damage. If we make it through here, we'll be in the industrial zone. Delta Squad, go, go, go! Ha! 
Hello, partner. You're not dead yet. How's your head feeling? Hear any strange voices lately? You're done for, you know that? Ryu, 1 over 8192. In the course of your mission at Biocorp, you've come into contact with an, a highly extremely or a highly experimental test subject. As a result, you are having hallucinations. Hallucinations? Now you cooperate with rebels and, sh and show unusual attachment to an experiment. All due to your unstable state. She lies. Ryu, if you put down your weapon and come with us, we can help you. She lies. You still have time. She lies. Can't you just let us go? What? Are you serious? That experiment is top secret. Anyways, you're going to die. We cannot let you leave. I'm sorry. So this first fight, this is a three fight, or three boss fight section. The first fight, you're against eight rangers, all spread out on the map. Thankfully the first two do nothing, the first one always buffs, the second one will always use a command. Command is just basically it telling the game, hey, target this person. And this is the reason we wanted Lin to have such a high speed. So this first turn, we're just going to sit here and get pelted by everybody. Because once again, we want that double AP bar. So usually if you put Ryu to the bottom, he'll survive, just because not a lot of people can touch him. Thank god that guy didn't go run the other way. So here we're going to heal everyone back up to full. And I know Lin's going to roll a high, so your turn order can't re-roll unless you change your speed stat. So if you use something like a speed boost, it doesn't affect your turn order for that turn, but it'll affect it for every turn after that. So like I said, I know the first two people aren't going to attack. So I only have to sit through one or two attacks before Lin gets her turn. And these guys can't use any really uh, turn skipping moves. They can't use anything like lockdown or stun. So with Lin, with the, the cleaner, the reason we fought the goo fight was A for the Saf Macer and B for the cleaner. The cleaner, when you put hey hey and come here, you get a giant vacuum. Which, like I said, is really good for moving enemies around in this map. So here I'm going to line everyone up as nicely as I can. Um, sure that'll work. So this is where lightning really shines, being able to hit all 8 party members for 80 to 90 damage. 
Now, these guys have a 25% chance to block spells with their shield, and it reduces incoming damage by 50%. So a lot of the time swing in here is just how many times these guys decide to block. Ooh, I guess I pulled them a little further away than I thought. get him this turn. Too many blocks. They're not social distancing. We will punish them. I maybe should have used a power boost. I don't want to use too many of them too early. So here we're going to just take a bunch of hits from the guys that are remaining. More than likely they're going to sit here and heal themselves because they're below their hit point threshold. So funny enough, if you use the D breath, on these guys, it'll completely eliminate their option to use their shield. Um, it's the only attack I know of that will eliminate a, in a, a guarding ability. Alright, one fight done. Yes, the cleaner is a Dyson product. The Dragon Powers. This guy always reminds me of like an old TV show, Exo Squad. So Asimov is weak to ice, and this is the one fight where the Sapphire Macer really comes into handy for that 50% damage boost. So here, Asimov greatly reduces uh, vacuum-based abilities, or I should say movement-based abilities quite a bit. So we're not really going to get a lot of movement out of them, but any we can just saves reuse ATB for later. So Asimov will always, he likes to have his little annexes with him. Um, he can have up to a maximum of four of them. So here I'm just going to drag Asimov a little bit closer. This will increase my damage or my attack by 25% for the rest of the fight. And this is where 
um, Ogre Slice we picked up very early starts paying off. So Ogre Slice gives you a 75% chance to crit at the cost of 50% accuracy. When you attack an enemy from the backside, uh, or past 180 degrees of their frontal plane, you get a 50% accuracy boost, as well as a 10% crit bonus. So we have an 85% chance to crit. Uh, and this will be our main source of damage for the rest of the run. Um, the old run, when this was done in the first really, really long thon, we used a ability called Discharge. What Discharge does is it, re it calculate or it keeps a track of how much damage you've received throughout the whole battle, and then it caps at a thousand, and then you can use that for 20 AP to attack the enemy. Um, with Ogre Slice is just much more consistent, plus Discharge was about 5 minutes to, out of your way to grab. Where with Ogre Slice we can get it right after the first boss. So here I'm just going to manipulate Asimov's AI a little bit to try to force him to spawn more annexes for the turn coming up. So we always want to use something before Ogre Slice to give it that 10% damage boost. Nice. So, you can't directly outright kill Asimov. When he when the killing blow is dealt, he is now invincible to all damage besides Dragon. So like in any percent speedrun, we would hit him with a D breath. Since we can't use the Dragon form, we now have to run away from him for three turns. And then after the third turn, he goes Kablamo and then we're done and on to the next boss. This is where the Sapphire Macer saves the majority of your time, if not all your time. Just because you're able to get them to trigger the self-destruct a lot earlier. really hoping to get Nina out of there. Nice. Nice. Yes, get get very used to the Hiaz. We will be hearing a lot of them. The grenade move is like a 1 in 8 chance. It's a very, very low chance he can use it. Or he'll choose to use it, I should say. Kablamo!
freak. Captain, I, we, we're not going with you. Ryu, you know it's not you that wants this. This experiment has linked with you, and now it infects your very will. No. No, I. I'm sorry, Ryu. But this is as far as you go. Ah, snap. So, um, Zeno, it's not said in the game at all, but Zeno actually taught Ryu how to use a sword. So Ryu starts with a move called Deathbringer. Zeno has a special ability called Violet Death. Um, in full terms, it's called Violet Deathbringer. So Zeno actually taught Ryu the, the school of the Deathbringer, um, quote unquote. So for this fight, it's a, a little more taxing just because you know that Ryu and Zeno have had a good relationship. This is the last of the three boss fights. So I'm going to have Zeno go first. When Zeno gets below 25% hit points, she uses an ability called Last Resort. And what Last Resort does is it puts all of her defensive points into offensive. And it also gives her a 75% chance to block. Another good thing about grabbing lightning from those bouncers is the Thor hammer plus four gives you a 10% boost uh, for any electric damage. So for like damage versus ATB or AT AP, sorry, ogre slice you can't beat. Crits are just such a large chunk of free damage. Um, something like Deathbringer. Boo. Backflip. That's uh, it works out to be about 166% attack strength. You're just losing so much to like en enemy resistance. So I did the chip damage with Lin, because if Xeno survives this round, it's going to be a little bit iffy, because Ryu can't outspeed. And it looked like it was just enough damage. So thankfully we skipped last resort. Ryu! Who's there? What are you? Ojin. The destroyer of a thousand years. Ojin, what's going on? 
You have been chosen. Chosen? Me? What do you want with me? Go. Go find your fate. You okay? Something. A voice. You have been chosen. No! I... I just want to help Nina. Let's walk while we talk. One thing for sure, it's time for Trinity to take action. Wait, we're going to Trinity? I'm a ranger. I can't go to the Rebels headquarters. You got a better idea? So, Lynn, um, funny enough, a lot of Lynn's weapons give her an accuracy debuff. Uh, there's only three weapons that don't. The sniper scope, the cleaner, or sorry, four. Pistol, auto rifle, cleaner, and sniper scope. Everything else gives her a minus 10 to accuracy, so it's very possible for her to miss point blank, which makes her the Momo of Final Fantasy, or, uh, Breath of Fire 5. Hmm. High Regent's Origin Seal. Direct orders for us? Yes. Do only what you do best. Hee <laughs> hee. Very good. Our great leader, Origin, needs us. And he says we can do what we like. Very good. Ha ha ha. So this game heavily relies on Russian. The vast majority of... Um, enemies, enemy names, abilities, skills, weapons, even the dragons come from... Russian. Ojin is Russian for one. Chetshire is Russian for two. Dover is four. Wait, what are we... What are you planning to do, Zelnus? What's this, Origin? Come to more in the past. <laughs> Away, Origin. I have no time for your games. Yes, time is running out.
for both of us, Ojin. Origin. Origin. It's nothing, Cupid. For you. Yeah, sadly for Lin, there's a lot of enemies that take 75% from shot damage. Um, Lin really starts to get good once you get around like the level 40, level 50 mark. She has an ability you can use called Shatter. So Shatter at point blank is a 480% damage increase. Uh, for 30 AP, and it's a very, uh, very narrow uh, spread-like move. Um, so each step you take away, or its default strength is 300, and then each step you take... Oh, hold on. If you're 30 steps away, it's 100% damage, and then every step closer is like a 16% damage boost. Uh, but for mostly, um, as Laughing is saying, it's mostly just Lin's good for utility. Um, her status inflictions are kind of nice for 20 AP, especially on a first playthrough where you don't really have access to like weaken or anything like that. Get everyone to that corner. So this is where I gave myself Fire Blast. You look bad, Ryu. Why don't we take a rest? Yeah, sorry, Lin. Yes? The Rangers put up a fight, but I handled them. No, with regards to that. Yeah, so the big bat would naturally drop Fire Blast. Uh, which is why I used it on Nina before the storage fight and didn't use it for the storage fight. The rest of the drop items I'm not really concerned about, but Fire Blast is quite critical for the speedrun. Uh, it's nice to be able to, uh, if Nina has a multiple of 20 AP, it's nice to do Lightning into Fire Blast for the extra damage. Fire Blast also has a really fast animation. Father, help me. I'm scared. No fear, Bosh. Remain calm.
fear clouds your vision and hides your foes. That only lot that way lies only death. You have power, Bosch. Yet you do not know how to use it. You are a warrior. Fight. Kill. I'll show them my power. I'll show my father I'm worthy. I... I did it, father. I did it, father. I did it. I am pleased. Enough for today. I'll show them I'm strong. I'll... This game has a very, very dark tone compared to the other Breath of Fire games. Looks like a high rank ranger. Was he waiting to ambush us? Almighty Lord Tantra, I give you this meat as an offering. Nice to meet you, Ryu. I made sure the rangers wouldn't get in our way. Hee hee, let's begin. Don't target Ryu. Yes! So Tantra will always o start with Forsation. Uh, what Forsation does is it drains 25% of all stats from you and it gives it to him. Uh, I did not show the Fairy Colony. The Fairy Colony is not used in this route. Or isn't used in low dive in general, I should say. Um, I'm trying to show... I think that'll be like that in the medicine cutscene. It'll be the only two cutscenes that are skipped. So Lin dying is not really of any importance. So the, the sleep check we got from the Rapalises is nice, just for the fact that if everyone does get put to sleep, Nina can at least use multi-meds to revive them or to cure the sleep status. So even though Nina lost 25% of her magic, magic scales really, really strange in this game when compared to stats. Uh, so losing 25% of Nina's magic stat, she ends up losing like 6 damage.
Who's that? Did he kill the rangers? I heard there's a group of rangers outside the ranks. A specialty team of highly trained assassins. Assassins? I guess they're done keeping up their appearances. Ooh, a key. He appears to be dead. Foreshadowing. Ha. Strong. Very strong. Sino's platoon of high-ranking rangers were defeated. So, it is too much for mortals to handle after all. Then, time has come. No. We will send the Dark Rangers. The Dark Rangers? But they're the worst humanity has to offer. Why beat around the bush? Let us go and end this. Mortals are too weak to change what has begun. And so we... So the Dark Rangers are kind of rangers that just started killing everyone they could find for poops and giggles. Their auras are dark. Why must we use their kind? Why go so far? Why, you ask? I think people in pain It may be I want man to wraith here in this dark world forever. As do I, the world is still in harmony. For now, let us watch and see what becomes of our dragon. You're right, laughing. They were experimented on and then decided to go crazy. So they got expelled out of the rangers. And then kind of just became their own little killing spree. So we pick this path. Uh, a, because it's one of the easiest side boss to beat. And two, it gives us a really good item in the next fight coming up. So prox bombs have a very interesting property, uh, actually all bombs do, but this is the first time we really see it, where they can hit twice for, uh, they can hit twice for each one. game really doesn't tell you a lot. Sadly, you have to go looking at the guidebooks and background guides and other internet publishing for a lot of information about the game directly. 
I still don't know why enemies' levels are so high when it proves to really do nothing. Not again. What happened to the Rangers? Ryu. Thank you, Ryu. For killing my friends. You have made me more powerful. It can't be. We killed him. Haha, ha. my good friend Digon. Now become one with me. Digivolve. Yes, good, very good. Now, let us begin. So Tantra 1 is pretty much exactly the same as Tantra 2. Where in the terms is he'll use Forsation first turn. Yeah, it does have a couple of new moves. But a lot of them just aren't really anything to write home about. So, one item that he really has that I want badly is a 7th sense. It's his rare steal. The 7th sense boosts all stats by 50% for one turn. Uh, and it also stacks with a power boost. So if you use it with a power boost, you get a free 75% attack boost, which is really, really nice for any part of the game, really. Alright, so we got Brain Quake. So even though multi-hit is a w one ability, you get two steal chances, which makes it really nice. Uh, there is a separate enemy you could fight, um, Gigius. He offers really no extra cutscene. This cutscene is exactly the same as killing Digon, and he just shows up right beside Tantra. So we want him to do with Digon because we we want that 7th sense. Uh, obviously in like a run you're not going to spend 5 or 10 minutes hunting it down, but... It's also good to mention that every boss up to this point, besides uh, besides Diga or Gigius and Tantra and Gigius, take double damage from the dragon. So the the dragon uses reuse attack stat, and then it gets multiplied by a lot of factors. One factor is uh, D charge will double reuse attack strength, and you can use it up to ten times. Uh, Twister is one one percent for a two times uh, two times attack bonus, and then the most broken of them all, Twister, is two hits for three times damage. I 
So in a playthrough, if you do a charge and a twister, you're getting 12 times reuse attack strength. And then multiplied by the enemy's double double damage, you get a 24 times attack, uh, attack boost for early game. I might have to give up on trying to steal this. Um, it's not until... Second boss coming up? That it goes back down to just 100% damage. Nice. Uh, only the 7 cents does, because the game considers it a uh, temporary modifier. Permanent modifiers like Fire Blast, or not Fire Blast, Attack, uh, Power Boost do not. Funny enough, uh, abilities like Spirit Charge, which gives you 50% attack strength for the next turn, works in Dragon Form. Time to get him. Uh, the game does the game does a really really good job on trying to limit the dragon as is. Um, if you use a power boost on the dragon after he transformed, it will work for the first action, and then the game will just outright get rid of it. The sad thing is to spend one time or one turn in dragon form is 2%. So it's never worth it to use it on him after he's transformed into a dragon. Bosh. I heard the strangest thing. They said Captain Zeno's dead. And you were the only one who got out alive. Wait, I'm not done. You ran away. You left them to die, coward. Too bad, Mr. Elite. You're finished. Ran away? Me? Bosh? The future regent? Yeah, you. You lost. Ryu beat you. Ryu, exactly. Yes, Ryu must die. I'm telling you, it can't be done. There's only been three reported cases of humans linking with the deconstruct. Two of them went amok during the initial stages of the link. And even the first, a chosen who had the highest D ratio, lost control of the link and chose to shut himself down. So we all know where this is going. Bosch is going to get a nice, fancy, fancy upgrade. This weapon shop offers nothing that will pique my interest at all. Beyond here is Trinity's area. We're still a bit far from the facility. Just a bit further. Nina, are you okay? Lynn, what's wrong? Something... my... 
No. I'm fine. Let's hurry. So that's the dragon and its followers. Still, nice tail. I'm not saying this game is perfect in any means. It does have its issues, but I hated this game casually, uh, playing it as a kid. Uh, it wasn't until I started watching speedruns I really got a good respect for the game. But I, I do think I, I am definitely in the camp where it plays better if you don't look at it as a Breath of Fire dra game. Uh, sorry, I was oh, taking the, the plastic off one of my monsters. I didn't think that sound would go through the mic. But I, it is a good game. I think it shouldn't have been under the Breath of Fire title. Um, and it probably it might have received it might have been better received. You never know. Um, this is still very also a very incomplete game, where much like Breath of Fire Four, they ran into this is where Capcom really didn't have a lot of money in the bank. This is Trinity's headquarter. Where is everybody? Well, we do have to maintain a certain level of secrecy. Nina down! Nina down! Somebody help! Nina. She'll live. For now, at least. You had this all prepared? I'm impressed. Thanks. Let's let Nina rest a while. I'll stay here with Ryu. Have a look around. They cut fishing and a... This game was supposed to have an a online multiplayer for, um, option. As for Breath of Fire 4, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I only know what a couple of the runners have told me. Or just make. I haven't died to the Trinity fight yet, but this is a marathon. Ah, Ryu, I've heard a lot about you. I am. Well, you probably already know, don't you? Maybeth, one quarter, leader of the rebel organization, Trinity. A wanted man. As are you, I believe. Forgive me. I do not mean to insult you. I de indeed. Thanks to you, Nina is safe with us. As you know, she cannot. She cannot live long in this polluted air. 
but we have medicines here that can help her. But she won't be if she's okay if I take her to the outside, to where the sky is. If there truly is a sky. Would you risk her life on such a fable? Making her run around out there is like making her walk on shards broken glass. She won't wear her shoes, dude. We've tried. Your choice, Ryu. Of course, I would welcome you if you choose to stay here with us to protect her. You trust him? He's one of them, an ex-ranger. Trust? Yes. I want to believe he might be the Chosen. I'm trying. No one's got no one's selling shoes. All right, there we go. All right, so that should be everything's back on track. So the reason I had to give myself the Violet Blade separately is every time you go through a playthrough, the Violet Blade levels up. So if I would have kept with the Violet Blade I got in this round, it would have been six attacks stronger than what I we'd have in a normal run. You don't look too good. Do you want to use that bed there? I need to rest. What's wrong? You look blue. Am I going to die? Well, we all die in the end. You're talking about that power, aren't you? Every time I use it, I can feel it. Consuming, sucking my life away. Why me? Why do I have it? It's like I'm meant to use my life to do something. But what? To destroy? If that's the case, then I... Nina! Victory conditions. If Nina gets knocked out, the game is over. Protect Nina from Trinity attacks and kill all soldiers. So this is the only... Only time in the game where if Nina dies, it's an instant game over. You can't revive her. Uh, this is the only time it happens in the whole game. At least to the best of my knowledge. I'm still waiting for the day that one soldier runs around the mage and just kills Nina. It hasn't happened yet. 
out of all the runs I've done, but I'm still waiting for that one time it does happen. So this is probably one of my favorite fight in the fights in the game, or at least in this run. Just for this whole reason coming up. And it's kind of a dumb reason, but it's kind of really funny. So we have 170 AP. We're going to be doing a 50% combo. Uh, this is infinitely faster and does more damage than doing individual X slashes. So that round saber is a 150% attack uh, ability. When it crits, you get an extra 50 or 60 damage out of it. It's huge. That child is proof of the government's dark deeds. I won't let you take her. Dot dot dot. So after you kill the two or two turns have passed, uh, the other two decide to show up. So this girl likes to use bloat. And what Bloat does is increases your movement ring by 25%. It's a good thing because she can't do an attack, but it's also a bad thing because if the enemy has a large movement area to work with, the AI doesn't know what quite to do. Um, so there will probably be some points where uh, this Macer chick kind of goes back and forwards a little bit. Uh, I don't know why it decides to use Bloat twice. Just, I don't know, an AI, AI issue. So here we basically just create a wall at the door. Because once, if they kill Nina, it's all over. So here we're just going to keep pelting them with the lightning fire blast. And then we'll have Ryu finish them off and hopefully they'll die in this turn. If not, Nina will outspeed them so we can get another attack in. Just to prevent healing. crits. Serveru.
Why are you hurting her? Unless you're going to kidnap her and blame it on the rangers. Just to get Ryu on our side? Is that what you were thinking? If that would bring justice, then yes. You ordered this, Mebeth? I agree. Justice must be served. But not like this. I we're going to the sky. Ryu. Ooh, key. Take this. It's a key, Ryu. If you truly wish, wish to see the sky, you will need three more like this. I believe you can do it. Now go. Nina is running out of time. Obtained M key. Yay. So here we're going to be on the hunt for AP charges and full APs. APs are items that will give you one AP bar, AP, AP bar back instantly. And a full AP will give you two AP bars instantly. Uh, it's a really good way to get a lot of extra damage out of something like a 7 cents. That's only active for one turn. What is the line for no dive? Uh, exclamation point low dive. Uh, it's basically don't use the dragon. Uh, we're not allowed to transform the dragon in battle. We're not allowed to move with the dragon. Thank you. Uh, the only time we can use it is on the last boss to deal zero damage to change his resistance. Interested in dynamite. All right, let's risk it. That still still scares me. So here we're gonna do a little bit, a little bit extra. These guys will drop items depending on how much how much hit points they have left. I think that should be enough. If I only knew how to count. So if he has anywhere between 250 to 500 hit points left, uh, we'll get a save token. And this will just be for safety. Uh, pa once we get past a certain point. Ooh, nice. Alright, so we got one AP charge. This is already better than my PB. 
Uh, there's still a couple more chances we have to get at them. Uh, the more of them we get, it makes one really trolly boss quite a bit easier. experience. Okay. So here we come in contact with the second enemy that can be uh, upgraded if you hit with a magic ability. So here we're looking for its rare drop, or its common drop I should say, sorry which is a, another 7 cents. You can also steal power boosts and uh, magic boosts from this guy. So we have one. I'd like two. So I have two. A magic boost would also be nice. Nice. Now we're hoping not for a weapon crate to drop. Nice. Alright, so the game checks for rare drops before common drops. Howdy, partner. Bosh, what happened to you? Oh, this? Well, it's my partner, see? He thinks he's so big, even though he's just a low D. So I thought I'd cut him down. I just need a little boost. So Bosch has a very quirky mechanic. This is just a time waste, but there's no harm in this. Bosch really doesn't like his fight getting interrupted. So if Lin is the last person to hit him before he attacks, he'll just go and gun her down. Uh, he, he doesn't like Lin, for whatever reason. So this makes the beginning of this fight completely consistent. So I'm going to attack him once, and I'm going to move Lin to a point where Bosch is almost at Ryu... Uh, Reuse back. And he'll go right for Lin, which actually works out really nice because now Ryu is at Ryu, uh, Bosch's backside. So we're going to use a power boost to give us 25% attack power. And we're also going to use a 7 cents. So now we have 75% more power. Uh, they stack additively and not on the multiple side. Which is really useful for this fight. Bosch has a mechanic where he'll restore one quarter of his current hit points per turn. 
So you can find yourself in a really, really sticky situation. There's no shops between Trinity and here. So you don't want to end the turn because Re or Bosch is going to restore a boatload of hit points. So even though Magic doesn't do a lot of damage, it's still hit points that he's not going to regain at the end of the turn. Which, it can be tr get tricky. Uh, Bosch would be in his third phase if he got a turn. Which means it's a lot of... Uh, he, he can attack up to four times per turn. I messed up real good. I won't lose to you again. Come on, Ryu. Scared to die? Ryu! Bye bye, Bosh. Can it? Can it hate? Good. I choose you. Stabby stabby. It's kind of funny, if you go down there, you'll see the blood pile where Bosch landed. Uh, and right past it is a D-Ratio door. So D-Ratio doors will unlock the higher you get your D-Ratio. The way to increase your D-Ratio is just finish the game under some arbitrary set of rules the game has set. Uh, percentage amount of EX turns, beat the game in under 8 hours, how much of the map you've explored. Um, obviously the highest ratio is one quarter.
Um, one dragon is and one dragon isn't. So in this game, uh, it's kind of like Breath of Fire 4 if you're familiar with it. There's one dragon that wants to, si to save humanity and one person that wants to put humanity under its claw. these guys to get up a little bit of the lost experience. Power 1 has the best music in my opinion. Uh, well, there's, there's technically three dragons. Uh, we won't see the third one. So there's a good dragon, a bad dragon, and then the anti-dragon. Uh, the anti-dragon, Dover, you will meet if you do the 50 floor special dungeon uh, called Kokenhori. You'll see it if you watch any uh, one quarter based runs or just casuals. Um, so if you hit him with a if you hit him with a dragon ability, he becomes strong against dragon and then weak against everything else. If you hit him with a regular ability, he comes strong against that, but weak against dragons. So, in the lore, when they created Odin, or Ojin, Chetshire, and Dover, Dover was to keep Ojin and Chetshire in control if one of them got out of control. Um, and then Elyon was like, screw that, we're just going to stick you in a dungeon. Have fun, bye-bye. Uh, he is considered the super boss for this game. Uh, I don't know if you'd call him difficult in casual terms or not. I think getting to him is probably more difficult. There is no way to reduce it. Uh, it's gonna go up and that's it. Uh, the only way to reduce it is just start your game over. Uh, so there we stole from Tiny Robot a ability called Transfer. And with Transfer, that is now the end of Nina being able to attack. Uh, transfer allows to transfer 20 AP from Nina to another character. So instead of wasting a turn building up AP, uh, we can now just give all of Nina's AP to Ryu. Which is good, because the boss is coming up, uh, we definitely start feeling the underleveled, and they have a really kind of BSE mechanic called Absolute Defense. Which we'll touch on in just a couple of moments. Reflexes for you. Uh, caps out at a after when your rage when your when your counter hits a hundred percent, you die. Um, 
A lot of people don't like the fact that the developers never intended you to finish the game on one playthrough. It is quite ridiculously hard. Um, I'm not really going to put words in people's mouth. But for me, um, it definitely comes off as quite a bit harder than your usual Breath of Fire game. Uh, the developers thought that it was too easy, and I think they probably boosted up the difficulty just a tad too much. There's no ins. Uh, saving is very limited. There's no cure to... You, like, you can't cast cure on yourself. All healing is done through items. Uh, I wouldn't say hard... What do you mean by hard time limit? If you're talking about steps, it's 300, uh, 280,000 steps without using D-Dash or using the dragon before you hit limit. That transport is our only way to the center. Other than the fact that it's where the regions live and, that's, and that it controls the rest of the sectors, Trinity has almost no info on center. Lin, going in there would mean... I know. We'll be going directly up against them. They won't take it sitting down, either. You sure you want to come? I don't care. I've been a rebel from the start. I just want to see how this all turns out. Right. Thanks, Lin. It means a lot. D don't take it the wrong way. I, I'm not doing it just for you. What? He just... Came from that center, yes. Pal has nine save tokens to start with. That's why I have come, to face the dragon once again. I am Demonid, Regent Demonid. You're a regent? We regents hold the keys to the surface, and there's only one way you get to them. You must defeat... You must fight and defeat us. But enough small talk, dragon. Once again, show me the full extent of your power. So, saves are... Uh, they, re they got rid of the uh, soft save feature for the PAL versions to stop... Um, there's an item duplication trick that you can do or I guess it's just a duplication trick in general where you can use up all your stored party experience load the soft save and get it all back and keep doing that over and over and over again so instead of the J Japanese and um, instead of the Japanese and the North America version getting one save token and soft save you get nine tokens in PAL and no soft save. I wouldn't say you were supposed to. The game was pure. The game was beatable without it. Like, the first one-quarter run, uh, so what I mean by one-quarter run is get the highest D ratio, which is one-quarter and one playthrough, happened one year after the game came out, and it took 12 and a half hours. Uh, that was using no dragon loops. That was just playing the game start to finish as the developers intended. Um, nowadays, it's down to under three hours uh, due to work of some really good community members. But, like, this is a game, if you want to make it easy, you really have to plan your moves out ahead of time.
So here we see the absolute defense mechanic in all of its glory. So the yellow numbers are the enemy's absolute defense. Anytime the combo stops, the defense comes back. So me casually would just keep hitting them every turn and do like 20 damage. Uh, so, one quarter with dragon, the rate the um, is a 244 by a Japanese runner uh, calling themselves uh, Pint, and you can get it without dragon in under four hours. Um, at really really longathon two, I did a run of uh, low dive one quarter. The cutscenes aren't tied to your D ratio, they're tied to how many times you've completed the game. So you can have a one quarter ratio and never never see all the cutscenes. Just because it's tied to a different mechanic. Probably could have skipped out on that last one. Uh, there are no cutscenes, at least to my to my knowledge, that are stuck behind D ratio rooms. They're usually just skills. Jesuit, must you always be so ill-bred? Ick, you aren't cute. Well, that tail may be cute. You want to ask me something? Ha. <laughs> Can't hide anything from you, huh? Well then, Hortensia. Tell me something about your vision. You said that time hasn't arrived yet. Why? Are you saying he doesn't have the power to open the world? I couldn't see as clearly as Cupid. His D ratio seems too low to control a dragon. His life will come to a close soon enough. It was a mistake. He shouldn't have linked with a dragon. A mistake? If that's so, Hortensia. Let's make a bet. You wager your cute tail. You can't judge whether he's the real thing or not. By his D ratio, they aren't an absolute. By my vision. I'll win. Alright, so we get the D key. So we now have two of the four keys that Maybeth or Mebeth told us we needed. What are the dragons exactly? Uh, so 
So the dragon, so after the Great War happened on the surface and they were forced to go underground, they created the dragon halves, which are the one, two, um, which are, is what Odin and Chetshire are. They're basically programs that link with humans to give humans uh, their power, or an extension of their power, I should say. As laughing, saying they're basically biological super weapons. The real dragons were used in the war on the surface, which ended up basically destroying the surface. And then now we use them with humans to try to find a way to the surface. Armor boost. Eight kit bomb. Eight kit. Ooh, life kit. No AP charges. Sniper scope plus three. Um, you'll see them. The first time you'll really see them is close to the. Or you, we've already met one of them uh, quite a bit earlier in the run. You'll see the other one uh, right near the end of the run. Is where you'll see kind of like one dragon face off. So these guys are Pandora boxes. If you defeat them in the EX or the or turn one, they drop a seven cents. So uh, in the old route, or in the first time I ran this, we did Hortensia and Jesuit. Uh, we changed it to do Cupid and Jesuit because this guarantees us two seven senses. Or if you do Hortensia first, you can get up to three, but you're depending on drops. And Hortensia is quite long in between turns. Ooh. I'm juggling items in my head on which ones I want to keep. Medkit I don't care about. So here we're going to do a little farming. I need six uh, power boosts to finish the game. Of course, I'm an idiot. So these red goos have power boosts we can steal. Uh, we could have done this much earlier in the game. The old route did it as soon as we got to Industrial 1. We would farm something like 12 power boosts. So stealing uh, has a mod, so it has your base value and then it has a modifier. So the steal change for these are 50%. And then with Lin's speed modifier, when we were doing it back then, it would drop it down to about a 38% chance. Where now here, it stays at that 50% because Lin's speed is matching the Red Goose. So it's a shorter grind because we're hoping to find also power boosts along the way. So if I found any more than just the regular two, I could just steal two or three and call it a day. Uh, because of the absolute defense mechanic, this pays for itself and bosses quite a bit if it goes fast. Uh, it sucks to have an RNG component like this so late in the run, but... So I only need two more and we're good to go.
So you can get through with five, but I really want six. Uh, the meaning for that is I want an extra one for the final boss. So when I transform into the dragon, it will eliminate the speed boost, or the power boost, sorry. So I'd like another one that I can throw to get it back for the second turn. And we're good to go. make a save. Shit. Here, Rasta. so clear. A kid. What are you doing here? I've never seen one like yours. I see the pure silver of will. But Ryu, You're not strong enough to reach it. Strong enough to reach? What are you talking about? The first one stopped as it faced the sky. But the time had not yet come. So it sealed the world again, with its own hands. Eons passed, and we watched and waited, until one was chosen, by the dragon once again. You're... you're a region? Yes, I am Cupid. I have one of the keys that you seek. A key? Ryu. Should never have been chosen by the dragon. You seek the sky, bent by the will of a dragon, a program that you weren't meant to activate. Turn back, Ryu, while those there is while there is still time. I can't do that. I'm gonna help Nina, by my own will, no one else's. If you insist on going, we regents must terminate you. That is our duty. Duty. So the good thing about the regents is they're all hard-coded to do an action on the first turn. So Demon Need was always Spirit Charge, Cupid will always use Command. So there's no threat on damage on turn 1, 3, uh, 6. Anakot is one we have to worry out, though. Anakot hits like a truck. So here we're just using Lin to try to move Cupid as close as possible, sadly because of Anakot. It's a little bit more of an issue. So all enemies from here on out except the last boss will have this absolute defense mechanic. Uh, that big monster was from Cupid's little pet.
So Anakot is completely immune to all types of damage, including Dragon. Please crit. Please crit. So this is another free turn. Cupid will use command this turn. Cupid is by far one of the ta uh, the most tame of out of all the regents. Demonite being second. Um, I'd put Elion right after Jesuit. Jesuit you can just waste a boatload of time on if he decides to be a giant troll. That's a good question, laughing. I'm pretty sure Elion's got some one-hit move where it just obliterates Anakot. Or Anakot, eh? So Cupid should be dead after this. The crits are really lacking. <laughs> I have considered. Um. We're getting close to the end of the regents. So there's really no reason not to kill these bees. They're worth a, quite a bit of experience just because you're killing ten of them. And then we're getting our last free seven cents. Oh. 
nobody's here. Hey, what about me? I'm a fan of yours, you know. I'm glad we finally meet face to face. My intuition's pretty good, you know. E gods. I'm a regent. I mean, I look at it, but yeah, call me Jesuit. We're going to see this guy. Give us your key. Hey, <laughs> straight to the point. But if you don't even know if there really is a sky, right? And you still want to go? Sure, I'll give you my key. On one condition. You'll have to show me what you're really made of. Tell me, Ryu. Can I be really believe in you? Make me believe you really are one who will claim back the sky. Forget D-Ratios. Just show me how strong you really are. Oh, Jesuit. So, for any other Breath of Fire game, Shadow Walk gave you a 100% um, chance, or 100% crit. In this game, it makes Jesuit invisible for three turns. Thankfully, he has a really low absolute defense of 50. So three G-Flares will knock him out of it if he decides to run into him. So here we're going to place him down and then position the characters where he's kind of just going to run straight into us. She lived. Never mind. So Jesuit has uh, the highest speed stat match with Elion, Elion, Elion at 1,999, one away from Cap. So even though attacking from the backside eliminates the accuracy penalty, we're still going to miss just due to the speed difference. And Jesuit, Jesuit's an amazing trolley boss because he can decide at any point that he wants to go back into Shadow Walk. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Just like this. So then you have to go back, do the setup. Nita ends up dying. I'll give Ryu a little bit of the AP. No! Oh, nice. Stun missed.
try to get Jesuit to hit someone different. <laughs> Alright, so Jesuit really wants his screen time. Uh, he has a 5H chance to do this at every mo at every turn. You can't get away with just placing down two G flares. Three of them is just safer. Stun gun is the worst he can do. Stun gun instantly re-loses his turn. So, there's been multiple PB attempts. I've lost like 6-7 minutes to this fight. Uh, there's been multiple PB attempts that have died to Jesuit. And even if, even if I was to use a multi-med, it wouldn't hurt. Or it wouldn't help, I should say. So here, I'm... Um... I use Nina for a little bit of chip damage. Because he can just keep going after Ryu and there's nothing we can do. Thankfully, he doesn't reduce magic quite a bit. Yeah, this fight can be a big, big pain. Uh, this is where a lot of the AP items come into play, for sure. Lin back first. Uh, and if you're using dragon based fights, this guy's easy. He's obliterated in the first turn. You just knock him out and then do two charge, two twister, and he's dead. One thing I do have to watch out for is my tonics. Alright, him stunning Nina isn't bad. No! Why are you? <laughs> Lynn can't do any damage to Jesuit because of her, ba ba just based off her attack stat. Uh, five eights. And then the AI uh, will modify its turn list from there. Do you not have the percent for that in the speedrun? This speedrun doesn't use dragon. Clearly he has a 50-50. <laughs> Don't worry, he made a mistake. He let Ryu get a turn. Alright, so here we're gonna see some good damage. We're gonna get we're gonna get some payback.
So I'm going to use an AP charge to give me a little more AP. Maybe shouldn't have ended Nina's turn. Uh, world record for this is two o two eleven two ten. Uh, record for any percent is just a little under, or a little over an hour. He learned his lesson. Don't tempt him. Okay, he learned his lesson. Which is good, because I was getting worried for my... my tonic situation. I guess I win our bet, Hortensia. Oh man, what a fight. GG, Jesuit. So you see in that fight where AP items with a 7 cents, if you have an overabundance of them, is amazing for that fight. Um, on a PB attempt, I'd burn them all there. But for marathon safety, I'd rather keep them for the last boss. This looks like some kind of monument. There's a keyhole in there in the center. Ahoy! <laughs> Looks like some kind of monument. There's a keyhole in the center. Alright, so we have uh, like a hundred thousand zenny left. And we're going to spend the majority of it right here. So that grind we did pays off right here with the Legend Blade. It's an additional 23 attack. Oops, I want to talk to the middle.
So we'll make a save here. Just in case something goes wrong. Actually, I want that and that equipped. Guilt. Yes, I feel guilt. Even Lodis are human after all. But I know what I do is for the good of all. And my superiors think it will work. Looks like the Geovader controls. Press the switch to activate it. Even should my humanity fade. In the end, I will know peace. As long as I see the sky. Help me, Ojin. You okay? It'll be over soon. Please, show Nina the sky. Man will gain wings, and the sky will return to the world. Finally, we meet. Ryu. Who are you? Ryu, my old friend. You know me. I am Elyon, the Origin. I ensure the harmony of this world. Origin. Yes. And you are my opposite, the Destroyer. The time has come. To reopen the world I locked away by my own hand. Ojin, my friend, I am so proud you made it this far.
Now, let us begin. You don't have much time left. Do you? So, Elyon has an interesting mechanic where you have a turn limit to beat him. You have 20 turns, and each 5 turns he, you, he changes to a different AI phase. So here he'll always summon his little buddies. So there I'm just going to move Ryu up a little bit, and then take off his armor to leave him in place. I, he'll still get a turn after this, and this leaves Nina in a far enough position away from the Alter Egos. So thankfully, Elyon's first turn is just summon those Alter Egos and that's it. Um, Elyon has the same speed as Jesuit, so 1,999. The cap for stats are 2,000. Elyon also has an interesting mechanic of having a 25% evasion rate as well. I wasn't an idiot and I didn't have a full inventory. Uh, Pentastroke gives me five steal chances with Lin. Which is good because Elyon we can steal a seven cents from. It's not needed, it just speeds up the next boss coming up. So unlike Elyon, the Ultra Egos can attack twice. Sludgehammer is just the enemy move for Ogre Slice, pretty much. 75% uh, crit chance at a 50% accuracy debuff. Oh, if you're using any percent or dragon, any, every fight's a joke. of a seven cents. Yeah, that's the good old evade stat doing its work. Elyon has 320 absolute defense and 6,000 hit points. So since we already had to farm for one jackbox, it doesn't make a difference to go for one or two. 
Sadly, there's just no other weapons earlier on that are that are worth getting. Nice. Elion should be dead this turn. The triple miss was wicked nice. Uh, this fight can go sideways really fast. Um, the two alter egos kill Ryu and L Nina, and then she uh, Elion does triple or pentastroke against Lin and dies. Elion, I know you. You're Ojin's first. I failed. Nothing more. I have no regrets. I followed what I thought was my destiny. Alright, if you say so. If I had your strength, Ryu. Stabby, stabby. Chetshire. So you have awakened too. Elion. We made it. The main gate. We made it. And beyond that, the sky. And whatever fate awaits us.
There you are. Partner. Oh, Bosh, you're looking good. The main gate. The stairway to the sky. That world you see. I can see it too. Ojin. Give you all the AP. Backflip. So the out of my way and then come here is just to get Bosch's back to Ryu. At this point, yeah, there's not very many cutscenes left. And this is why we save. Sadly, we will have to redo the Elyon fight. Uh, he went in pretty hard. I didn't think I'd face change him so quickly. It's okay. We were, we were well ahead. Of, we were well ahead of schedule, anyways. Something interesting had to happen. Bosh wins this round. 
I was so good at killing him that he killed me. <laughs> that was just bad luck. Him deciding to use all of his AP. That's it's very rare to see that, but you can't it can happen. Thankfully it was at that Bosch and not the final Bosch. At least uh, this song, Calling From A Distance, is my favorite track of the whole game. One thing I've, one weird thing I've really noticed with the crit numbers is they always go in sequential order. Um, if you get a regular attack, it just skips it. So like it always do 232, 240, 247. Insert random numbers, and it'll keep following that same pattern where damage numbers are variable on a scale of eight. No. It wasn't the final. Now we're in a sticky situation. So I'm basically hoping Ryu survives through three more attacks. Thankfully, Nina dying is not a big deal because Ryu is going to have full AP. Keep Nina for like a healing bot. I would really like it if Ellie, if uh, Lynn doesn't die, so I can have one shot at stealing that seven cents.
So even though Ryu's almost healed, I'm going to use a trauma kit. So if Elyon hits him with Pentastroke and gets a crit, it could be game over for him. Nice. Got the 800 steel chance. This one fight where Nia's magic isn't a bad thing either. Elyon takes double damage from magic. Um, in a speedrun sense, uh, n not really. Dover is the only person where stat downs are kind of worth it. The big, the big problem with using stat downs on bosses is a lot of bosses resist stat downs by 75%, at least the useful ones. Um, like, uh, scaling magic down doesn't make a difference at all. Um, scaling um, speed down doesn't matter much. Uh, movement doesn't matter much. Uh, uh, attack can kind of be useful. But like for, for def defense, a lot of the times it's 75%. And then I believe it also has a magic based modifier on it as well. Which a lot of these bosses have two, 300 magic. So uh, magic governs also magic defense and infliction rate for any status up or status downs. So with um, magic is capped at 250. Same thing with the infliction modifier. So anything more than that is kind of just wasted on that terms, but it's incredibly hard to get them to stick on these later bosses to make it worth it. The old route used to use... Um, we used to get rust armor, which would reduce the enemy's... Um, the enemy's defense by 5% on infliction, and sometimes even that really didn't make much of a difference. Um, in a low resource fight, it's definitely worth it. Alright, Bosh. This time you don't get to kill me. This time I get to kill me. See, that's all you had to do, Bosh. We're the same, you and I. Both of us no longer human. Ha, I'll give you a choice. 
Protect your friends or save yourself. You can't do both. Shall we, Ryu? Or should I say, Ojin? I really like Bosch's dragon form. So thankfully, uh, Dragon Bosch has Zert for speed. So her goal is just obviously use Lin, what she's always used for. Just get her, get her to get the enemy close to Ryu. You're the faker. So I'm going to do a zero damage debreath. Just to break his dragonized form. In accordance to the rule set. Now one thing you have to be really careful about these AP items is they'll target like curative items. So whoever has the lowest hit points it auto targets first. So there's been a couple of times I've wasted AP items on a low hit point character. Aha, uh -huh. Ryu. Me lose? To you? Hey, I... I... It's so dark. What's happening? I'm changing. Ryu... Getting a full AP for Dragon Bosch saves like three minutes. Uh, saves the transfers, the going back into Dragon form. Uh, dealing with Mail Factor, which will inflict every status inf uh, infliction possible at once. So it can make it a really sketchy fight. Uh, the reason the estimate's so big is if you end up dying to Mail Factor, you have to refight Elyon and then Bosch 3 and then fight Dragon Bosch again. So like a death at the final boss costs you like 15 minutes, 10-15 minutes.
cheddar. So for all, everyone that's wondering, this is what the dragons look like. Jin. <laughs>